I'm Rob Stevenson. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a husband. I am an entrepreneur. And I am bipolar. I experience bipolar disorder. And this is the mind cycle where I'm attempting to ride the whole Tour de France on a static trainer to raise awareness about talking about your mental health and to raise funds for MQ Mental Health. Sponsored by Deloitte, they'll do an excellent work in looking after the mental well-being of their employees and really supportive of the mental health agenda. I'm delighted to be here at both the Birmingham and the London offices and have been joined by a number of employees having some pretty uplifting conversations about mental health. Wish me luck. It's all about ending the stigma that surrounds mental ill health. It's about encouraging conversations. It's about being open and it's about, for us as a firm, we focus so much on that question, are you okay? You know, getting people on the bikes there who are having an open conversation about their mental health and well-being, and honestly, it's fantastic. We've done a lot of work in terms of getting it more out in the open, having people being able to talk about it. Well, you know, what we're trying to do is, is move the dial from dealing with things when there's a crisis to actually trying to identify things up front and getting to the point where we're stopping these crises happening and just letting people know that it's okay to have these conversations and it doesn't impact their career. Um, and I think things like this that allow you to do it even more, um, you know, it's just, just fantastic. I think what he's doing is, is deeply impressive. It is a tremendously important issue. It's, and it's just so important. It's important to us. For Deloitte, it's really important. Five years ago, it just would have been a taboo subject. And I think we've really tried to change that culture and make that people feel comfortable raising these, these issues and, and that we can, we're, we're there to support them. I think everyone who's in the firm should recognise we've come a long way. Yeah. I know more people talk about it now in my teams and I suspect that's not because there are more people suffering with it, it's just more people are comfortable doing that, which has got to be the right, the right thing and the way forward. Raising the awareness through events like this so people are thinking about mental health also enables people to then talk about it a little bit more and that can only be a good thing. Every little bit helps, I think, and just talking about it is the start. On a, on a basic human level, what I want to see is, you know, when you see your colleagues each day and you have that question, how are you? You actually ask it to mean it and you wait for an answer and then on the other side you give an honest answer because some of the most meaningful conversations I've had with people are when somebody's asked me that question I say actually I'm feeling a bit down today I'm functioning I'm out of bed but I'm feeling like I'm heading towards depression and, and then you can have an, an honest human conversation and I think too often we say how are you I'm good I'm fine I'm all right I'm okay and it's just what we say it's a ritual I'd like us in the workplace where we see behaviours of people to just to look out for each other in a human context a bit more.